this is part two. I guess it will be for Tuesday. I talked about a little business, but not so much in detail in the previous video. So we're talking about PPP. I mentioned that OPP, it used to be a song talking about other people's property, having relations with other people. And in these days, OPP is other people's property as in land and territories. A lot of countries are trying to hold on to what they have. Some are trying to reclaim what they've lost. And God made this big old world for everybody. But check out the history of the world. People were scattered back in the book of Genesis. People were scattered trying to build a tower trying to build a tower and they were going to do it because they were one. When people are one, the Bible says that God said, let us, us go down because the people have become one and nothing will be impossible to them. That shows the power of unity, whether you're for the wrong or you're for the right. There are people who are uniting and people who are going to be forced to choose. Listen to me clearly. The next five years, in the next five years, what we tasted 2021 was nothing compared to what's going to happen. The world will be totally different at the end. If we make it to the fifth year, 2027, the world's going to be totally different. It's not playtime. It's not time to be afraid. It's time to be sober, okay? There are people saying, you know, there and, and dream, continue to live. This channel is all about living and dreaming. Continue to live and to dream. But let me tell you, some of the things that some of us are so concerned about, whether it's... <sighs> Look in a certain way, okay? The makeup, the, the wigs, the nails, the clothing, the bags, the shoes. You're not even going to be concerned about those things. This, this is what time we're coming to, okay? You still going to have, if you, if you are that type of person that like to look nice, you still going to want to do that. But let me tell you, I can't say this enough. The time is at hand. God has a purpose and a plan, and so does man. And these things are going to rapidly be fulfilled. So know your Bible, okay? Go to Doug Batchelor, Amazing Facts on YouTube. Watch the Panorama of Prophecy series. It's 25 videos if you can. Understand PPP is what I'm talking about in this video. Understand, going back to OPM, other people's money, this is not the time. This is not the time. I know people in the real estate world and business people say you should use other people's money, not your own. But listen, when you do that, you are indebted to that person and Things are going downward really quick. You're going to lose your stuff. Or are you going to be controlled by other people? And when you have to depend on, you have to depend on the water company, the electric company, and places like that, it's a form of, it, 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 it keeps you bound, okay? So yes, I have services with different municipal companies, but you need to learn that you need to practice, okay? So there's a plan. That's the first P. God has a plan. The people have a plan. And they're going to be fulfilled, okay? The next five years going to be real rough. Some people not going to make it, going to fold because they don't want to listen. They caught up, okay? Don't be caught up in, and I sometimes I get caught up too. So I'm talking to myself. God's speaking to me through me, to me, okay? I get caught up. Don't get caught up in just working to pay bills. There's more to life than that, okay? This world is coming to an end, and it's temporary. 
The second P is people. People. Listen, God loves the people so much that he sent his son Jesus to die for us. So instead of us dying, we would have a right to eternal life, how he created it to be and from the beginning. But he, get, he gives us freedom. So you want to know redemption story and you want to know why God allows things, bad things to happen because he gave us the freedom to choose what we want to do. We are the ones who choose to do bad things. God says, you choose me or you choose the devil. It's all it is. You're going to be hot or you're going to be cold. Okay. You can try to teeter the fence and be in between. He is spew you out of his mouth. There are people who are going to be used by God. Sometimes we, we, we make all make mistakes. We, whether you're Christian or not, you're not always going to make the right choices. But at this point in time, there are people who choose not to be on the Lord's side. Let me just put it like that, okay? Uh, there are people who knowingly, See, the gospel is going to be preached to all the world before the Lord comes back again. There are people who are knowingly staying in ignorance. Get away from those people. They have no clue what's going on. They don't want to know. They want to stay wrapped up in their small little world, their small little product of their environment, all this little negative stuff that they learn. Let me see. God can take a person from any circumstance and use them. But there are some people who just don't want to grow. They're stuck. Get away from those people, okay? Because your weakest link is going to destroy you. Your weakest link. They are going to be the weakest link. And since they're connected and close to you, guess what? You're going to be the one that's going to fall because they'll be the ones to sell you out. It's just the way it is. There's a gentleman on YouTube. His YouTube name is Full Spectrum Survival. He has a video out there if you want to know a little bit more detail about what's going on with China and Taiwan and the United States. I'm telling you, we're in for um, times like never before. So I've warned you about the plan, the plan of God, the plan of man. I've warned you about the people. Listen, pray about your, your people, your, even your relatives, honey. I'm talking, you know, God wants all of us to be saved. You got to pray. But it's it, you, you have to know um, birds of a feather flock together, okay? Some people good with masking who they are. They want to try to hide and be one way, you know, around some people. And then the true colors come out. You, you need to ask God to reveal people to you. And why is that important? Um, like I said, the weakest link is how strong the group is, okay? And the last P is remember that there is, remember to practice, okay? So when God allows situations to come into your life, they are there to help you to practice your faith, help you to practice survival, honey. If your lights and gas get cut off, if you know how to put some buckets out and catch some rainwater or how to live in a tiny home. Some people have, that's where it's at, let me tell you. The little, not so much as tiny home, but if you have to uh, dig a underground, there are some bad sisters in these other countries who take one tool in their hands and they dig down in the earth and create houses, beautiful. Then they go out in the forest and they create uh, colors by using different plants and berries and things like that. My video is about to cut off, so let me get to it. So the last P is for practice, is to remember to practice uh, being perfect, practice. Take advantage. If you don't understand how to survive, you're going to find it very depressing and you'll be ready to give up. And that's what's happening. There's so many people who are uh, in this world just going crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Crazy. Oh, just so much. And, and the worse it gets, the worse the conditions of the world gets, the worse the people will get, honey. So remember, the last P is going to stand for the practice and the promise. Practice. Remember the promise. Remember that God is not going to leave you. He is not going to forsake you. That he has a plan for the people and he has a promise for the people. And he is going to fulfill everything that he said he 